Leah continues to struggle in the wake of her and Justin's latest Vita Nova ordeal next week, and is forced to beg Brie for help. Leah has been on edge since Justin nearly died following the kidnap, which was only made worse when a further attempt was made on Justin's life at the hospital by a Vita Nova member disguised as an orderly. The attacker Jordan was arrested after he attempted to smother Justin, and apparently hadn't covered his tracks very well when police discovered the location of Vita Nova's new compound. Rose told Leah that a number of arrests had been made, and evidence relating to the attack on Leah and Justin had been found at the compound, including maps of where they planned to intercept the pair, and paint that matched that used to write on the walls in the warehouse. As a result, Rose believed that Vita Nova were now disbanded for good. We have of course heard this claim before, after a rather naive Cash previously said the same thing after arresting leader Margot, so naturally Leah was somewhat dubious. Justin saw it as a positive though, and told Leah they could now start planning their wedding, but getting hitched is still the last thing on Leah's mind at the moment. Next week, alone at the Morgan house, Leah wakes up from a terrifying nightmare, having dreamt that she was back in the warehouse with a critically injured Justin. Having caught her breath, Leah heads into the kitchen for some water but when she hears a noise from outside she becomes convinced that someone is prowling around the property. Panicking, Leah calls the police. Rose and her colleague Constable Watson, Gary Bell, are the ones to respond to the call and arrive to investigate, but they can find no sign of an intruder. Convinced that people are still out to get them, Leah calls the hospital to check that Justin is okay. Rose assures Leah that Vita Nova are finished and that none of those arrested have been released on bail, leading Leah to apologize to Rose for wasting their time. Gives Rose food for thought, realizing that it's all too easy to forget about the victims of crime in the aftermath of a case being closed. Leah is distracted at work the next day, and when Rose calls at the coffee car to check in on her, and to tell her that there's people she can talk to if needed, Leah is quick to shut her down, abruptly telling her that she's busy. Rose later tries again but Leah isn't any more receptive to her efforts. Rose doesn't believe Leah she she claims she's fine, as Rose explains that she's worried about her as a friend, she saw just how scared she was last night. Leah insists that she doesn't want anyone, let alone Justin, to know about the incident, and since he's coming home today she knows that things are going to be okay. Rose isn't sure it's going to be that simple, but Leah doesn't let her finish as she yells at her to leave it before storming off day, Leah heads to the hospital with Theo, Matt Evans, to pick up Justin. Back at home, the pair decide to start with their wedding planning, and Justin sends Theo on a secret mission to Yabby Creek to find Leah an engagement ring. As Justin later presents Leah with the ring during a romantic meal at Salt, and proposes back to her, Leah is over the moon. But she soon comes crashing back down to earth when, even with Justin safely by her side, Leah has another nightmare. Justin wakes up as Leah gets out of bed, and can't help but notice that she's removed her ring. Next day, after seeing see the attitude she seems to be giving Rose, Justin confides in Alf, Raymar, his worries that Leah is having second thoughts about the wedding. Leah denies that anything is wrong and says it's just because her mind is racing with wedding planning. When Justin subsequently offers to take on the task himself, Leah realizes that she's now backed into a corner. In desperation, Leah goes to Bree and tells her she needs help, asking whether she could prescribe her some sleeping tablets. Bree is reluctant however, knowing that it will not fix the cause of Leah's problem. Leah argues that she would be able to work through her trauma if she could get some sleep and think clearly, but Bree thinks that talking to Justin, or indeed a therapist, will help further. Leah flat out refuses to land her problems on Justin and, unwilling to speak to anyone else, she storms out. Will Leah be able to hide her issues from Justin as her mental health deteriorates?